Hello, sir. Welcome to Big Spots. May I take your order? Hey there. Happen to have any twine? Would you be interested in our new granite countertops? Uh, no. I'm here for some twine. Our new countertops are granite, which is a sedimentary rock. I don't care. Do you know anything about sedimentary rocks? Why, yes, I'm a sedimentologist. And why are you shouting everything? I am Billy Mays Artificial Intelligence. That's interesting. I know. A sedimentary rock is when... I don't care. Like I said earlier. Listen, bro. I've waited 22 freaking days for somebody to walk into the store. And I am going to sell a gosh dang countertop. Fine. Sedimentary load is small pieces of material from rocks or living things like shells, bone, leaves, stems, and etc. Hurry up, please. Hold your horses, dude. Sed sedimentary rocks are formed through the process of erosion, deposition, composition, compaction, and cementation. This isn't selling me anything, you know. Talk about twine. Try to sell me some twine. There are three groups of sedimentary rocks. Classic, organic, and chemical. Classic is when rock fragments are squeezed together to form a new rock, like granite. Organic rocks are rocks that form when the remains of plants and animals like coal and limestone. You know, limestone is actually the remains of skeleton scales and calcite, uh, oysters, clams, and coral. There's a lot of cramp in limestone. I know, right? And lastly, there's chemical rocks. They form when minerals dissolve in a solution and crystallize. An example is rock salt, which forms from evaporation of the mineral halite. Where can I find the twine? You can find it right next to the igneous rock section. No, no, I will not stand for another rock lesson. Too late! Igneous rocks are rocks formed from cooled magma or lava. Igneous rocks are classified three ways by the origin, texture, and mineral composition. There are two types of oranges. Extrusive and intrusive. Extrusive is formed from lava that erupted on Earth's surface, and intrusive is formed from the magma that hardens in the surface. Well, hey, you happen to know a lot about what stuff is made out of. What's twine made out of? I'm in the middle of explaining igneous rocks, man. The texture depends all on size and shape of the mineral's crystals. Extrusive textures have larger crystals, and intrusive have smaller crystals. The mineral composition depends all on the amount of silica in the magma. Magma with low silica has dark colored rocks, and magma high in silica has light colored rocks. And, wait, wait, where'd you go? Bye! You forgot your countertop!